At long last, it's time to go talk to Kane. I've heard of you. You're the one that took out Gizmo over in Junktown. Killian must have paid you a good sum for that job. Are you here for some work, maybe? Uh... What's the job and what's the pay? It's not skag work. You'll need to do it quick and clean. The boss will give you details, but it's more money than you'll make in a month working for the caravans. But only if you're good enough. We don't take kindly to failures, if you know what I mean. Uh... Sounds good. I'm sure you're familiar with our sort of business, so let me just say it'd be in your best interest to keep this to yourself. Shall we? Yeah, we were told these guys are bad news. Oh. So, you're looking for a job. How fortunate. I have one that needs doing. Ah, oh, but where are my manners? What's your name? Uh, I'm Ryan. Well... The pleasantries are now concluded. Do you wish to hear about the job? That's why I'm here. Background. There's a certain merchant who's... How to phrase this? Not cooperating fully with the underground. And the job? Quite simple. Hunt down the merchant and his wife, and exterminate them. Oh. Uh... How much for the job? It's standard pay. 500 caps to start. Another 2,500 when the job is done. Will you do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Very nice. The merchant lives in the Heights on Barter Street and Thunder Avenue. Your initial pay will be handed to you on your way out. Uh, oh. The merchant and his wife live over to the west from here. They're on the corner of Barter Street and Thunder Avenue, in the Heights. He'll probably have guards. Try to be quiet about it, be sure you aren't seen. But if anyone does happen to see you, make sure they don't live to tell anyone about it. Once you've finished up your little errand, come back here. One more thing, don't even think about going to the police. That's the worst mistake you could ever make. If you can try, or if you can... Try not to attract their attention when doing your work. That can be quite a pain sometimes. Kane gives you 500 caps. Well, let's go to the police. Maybe we hold off for a little bit first. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm a hired gun necessarily for killing people. Especially just a merchant. I mean, we uh, sided with Killian earlier against Gizmo. I don't see why we wouldn't do the same here. Uh, let's actually do the northeast first. That might end up being one of the last things we do before we leave. Ah, uh, you see a skag. This place is neat. It's much better than my old place. There's so much space. If I had any stuff, I'd have plenty of room. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, a mailbox. Are you interactable? The mailbox is empty. You get the feeling it's been that way for a while. Yeah, probably. Doesn't seem like there's much going on here. Oh, there is somebody in here. I like it here. I'm glad you guys are happy with your situation. It looks kind of crappy to me. Check out this building next. Ooh. J 
Jake's weapons. High prices, but really good guns. I didn't even see that anywhere. <laughs> they definitely look pretty well armed, though. Ah, welcome to Jake's. I got some great merchandise in stock. Feel free to look around. Uh, what can you tell me about a water chip? Man, you do like the rare stuff. Where were you when I was selling some depleted uranium rounds a few years back? I don't need chips, though. Ain't a market in it. Anything else? Uh, tell me about yourself. Well, I've been around. Used to be at the Union of Atomic Workers. Sort of like the Brotherhood, but less friendly. They wanted to keep to themselves, and I, well, I wanted to see the world and be my own boss, so I left. Alright. The mutants wiped them out about 10 years ago, so I guess I made the right decision. I eventually settled down here. The cops don't like my trade, and I've been roused more than once. But I'm a hell of a lot more honest than most of the merchants here. Uh, let me see what you have. Here's what I've got. Okay, I'm guessing that's the type of armor he's wearing. Looks pretty similar. And it seems rare enough that maybe it's a better deal? How much does it cost? Whoa! Ooh, we're starting to see some of the, the big stuff now. What are you? Grenade Pulse. Rocket Launcher. Assault Rifle. 24 shots of 5mm JHP. Ooh, you look even nicer. High-tech armor. Made out of advanced defensive polymers. Heesh. Okay, yeah. That might be something we have to try to loot. In fact, that almost looks like what most of these police are wearing. Oh, this is kind of what we wanted here. It was a sniper rifle. Unfortunately, a lot of your stuff is way out of my price range. 14 millimeter pistol. Sounds pretty big. Combat shotgun. Yeah, we don't have that kind of money yet. Thanks. Uh, this place looks well guarded enough that maybe we should throw in a save before we try looting anything. Just to make sure they don't get too upset. There we go. Looting stuff? Maybe. Alright. If I touch your guys' desk... Oh, nothing in there, and you don't care. If I touch that... Nothing, don't care. If I open up this door... Man, you guys should teach Killian about... Not getting too mad when people go through your personal stuff. Wait. Oh, apparently we can loot crates. How many of those have I missed? Because that's a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. Gotta keep my eyes peeled a little better. Even more stuff. Nice. Nice little fridge in the corner with a couple things. Not only did he not get mad about me coming back here, considering he actually had loot and stuff, uh, 
Yeah, he actually had loot and stuff. Guessing these are all the guards. Watch your back. This ain't a safe place. Keep your nose clean. Alright. Well, I feel pretty good about that. Oh, this place looks... What can I do for you? Uh, who are you? The name's Vance, and that's all you need to know. Can I get you anything? Uh, good to meet you, Vance. What do you have to sell? If you don't already know, you shouldn't be here. Now leave. Uh, okay, I'll leave. Well, I don't remember Vance being mentioned as someone to stay away from. Do they have like a back entrance or anything? Doesn't look like there's much a value in there. <laughs> All right, we'll do the fog of war type stuff, and then we have a couple spots above us to check out that probably aren't connected. Actually, we might just circle around. We'll go through here first. And... I was correct that they aren't quite connected. But this one turned to be rather uneventful. It looks like they at least have a mattress and a box spring. Somebody's in there. Ooh, and an underground. Yeah, I was trying to tell if that's two box springs stacked on top of each other. But it's a little hard to tell. Okay, not locked. You can have my old place. We still need to expand the irrigation. Got any food? I think I sold most of that off already. Well, I'm interested to in know where this leads. I think. Well, no, it's not technically the first basement we've seen. Oh, the door is locked. Uh, two, I believe. Except we can't see the door anymore. Hey, we unlocked it, gained some experience points. Uh, looks like we have a pair of doors. Oh, you sense that there's a trap near. Thanks. Oh, the dog's name is Dog Meat. Uh, I noticed the trap, but there wasn't much I could do about it when our companions run into it. I'm guessing these are also locked. Uh, that lock is beyond our ability to pick. Hey, we unlocked this one, though. Alright, you guys stay there. I have a feeling there's probably more traps. Yep, nope, nope. Dog meat. Crap. Uh, I'm gonna need some uh, doctor skill here shortly, I believe. Just guessing this one's locked. You were not able to pick it. Didn't say out of range, though. I'm 
until it says this lock is out of your range. Hey, there we go. So it is a matter of just try it till it works for, for some of them. You see Jasmine, Cleo, Smitty. Hi, welcome to the Circle of Thieves. Play your cards right and you're in. What do you want? Uh, tell me about the circle. If you're lucky, you'll consider yourself one of us by the end of the day. At home, part of the furniture, you know. Tell me about Decker. We don't discuss Mr. Decker in polite company. Tell me about the missing caravans. We had nothing to do with that. Hi. Hi yourself. Well, that's fun. We don't talk to no outsiders. Yep, don't mind me just going through your loot. If you have anything. somebody down here don't get mad get glad let me just check to see if you have anything else I'm sure you guys have some kind of code of brotherhood where if you steal from each other bloody fine job making it through the defenses mate I'm rather impressed toss me your name I'm Ryan. Quite pleased to make your acquaintance, actually. For now. Let's get the other bit of politeness taken care of, shall we? What the bloody, bloody, bloody hell are you doing here? Uh... I want to join the circle. Oh, how nice. A joiner. Well, you've worked hard enough for a look-see. But if you really want to join, then you'll have to take the second test. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was the first test? Haven't figured it out yet, have we? The first test was just getting here. That's the only reason I'm considering you. Uh, what's the next test? It's so, so simple. In the Heights, you'll find Darren Hightower's home all plump and ripe for the picking. Are you ready for life? Do you accept the challenge? Man, what do the high towers do to be hated by everybody? We're supposed to kill them. I'm ready. That's the spirit, mate. Just talk to Jasmine in the room outside this chamber. She'll give you details, a map, and a few little goodies to help you on your way. But remember, if you even think about ratting us out to the cops, we'll be a memory before they arrive. But enough gloom. Cheerio, good luck, and ta-ta. Hey, we gained a level. Uh, 900 experience points. Let's go see Jasmine real quick. Wait, you aren't... Tell me about Loxley. He's a boss. What else is there to know? Sorry. You're Cleo. You're Jasmine. Welcome to the Circle of Thieves. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I'm here to help make your infiltration of the Darren Hightower estate as painless as possible. Hightower... Ooh, boop. Hightower's estate is located in the Heights. It has a minimum of two guards on duty at all times. The necklace is probably in a strong box, which often have some minor traps, so be careful. Here's some lockpicks and a couple of flares to make your job a little easier. And a bottle of Nuka-Cola. Try not to kill Mr. Hightower. He's one of our favorite people. You got all that? Okay, so they specifically don't want me to kill him. So we're kind of at odds with Kane and Decker, which I already wasn't planning on doing anything to them. Or for them. I just wanted that free 500 caps. Uh, what do you mean by favorite? Well, he's been our benefactor on many occasions. If you kill him, someone smarter may take his place. We wouldn't like that. All right. Watch there be more traps. Also, let's go ahead and 
I think we need to level up the lockpick some. Maybe your speech? Yeah, I think the lockpick can wait a little bit. Especially since we just got some lockpicks. I think I want to get my speech up to 100, if possible. 87 is pretty good. Uh, let's test this whole lockpick thing. Also, is this something that disappears? Like the doctor's kit. A set of locksmith tools includes all the necessary picks and tension wrenches to open conventional pin and tumbler locks. Yeah, like, I don't think it would expire. Hey, we unlocked the door. Maybe we don't need... Uh, to level up lock picking at all. In fact, now I kind of want to go back to some of the other spots that we haven't lock picked. S some of them just see if we were able to at all. And then some of them to see if maybe this would make the difference. Let's talk to some of you guys. Well, not you anymore. I'm thirsty. Uh, backpack. Do you want some water? Use the Nuka Cola on Skag. I like it here. Good. I don't know if I actually gave him the water or not. We got rid of it. Uh, let me test something. I think it's, yeah, th three. We'll go sneak mode, not that I think it'll help. Did we put it in, no, we did not put it in his inventory. Okay. So yeah, we literally just gave him the water to drink, or the Nuka-Cola. Yeah, you guys are not the lootable crate types. Itty bitty spider, smash in, smash in, or it's a bitty spider. We gotta see what that it's all about. The moon is out there. Is that you talking? Oh, pretty, pretty stuff. Why is the moon? Oh, you're the guy who might know about the Death Claw. Okay. You see Slappy. Beth, Beth, shoo, shoo, sha, Beth. Er. Beth, Beth, Shusha Beth. Like Harold. You talk Harold. Harold, tell you story. Slappy helped then. Okay, I'll go talk to Harold first. Just gotta find Harold. I think that guy might have lost his mind. A little bit. Uh, are you Harold? Bear change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <coughs> uh, yeah, here's 25 bucks. Good luck to you. Oh, kind of your friend. Very kind. You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. Why is that? <laughs> Rest of the hubbard's been picking on me like a bad booger since I came back to town. I can't leave, though. When the deals are done, it's still my home. Heh. <laughs> like a booger, because he's green. Uh, what happened to you? Well, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. <sighs> 
Long time. Uh, tell me more about those days. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. And I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. Uh, where was your vault located? You know, <laughs> I'm not real sure anymore. West, I think. Oh, wait, uh, east? Oh, I don't know what. <laughs> I wonder if that's the vault 12 that we heard about? The one in uh, Bakersfield. So it could be west or east. Uh, not very helpful. What'd you do then? Well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Lost a lot of good people, though. <coughs> How? Uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants. Son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <coughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Where are the mutants coming from? Everywhere. Hell, seemed like you couldn't fart without hitting one. But mostly in the Northwest. Uh-oh, that's kind of where we came from. Did you explore that area? We mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray. Led a small group of us up there. Richard Gray? Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. And what was that? Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. How do you know this base was the cause? Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. Did you examine the base closely? We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. And then... One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded. Sent him back to the surface. Then, it was just me and Gray. Whatever happened to Mark? To this day, I don't know. He never made it back here, and... Well, I... Couldn't face the wasteland again, so I... I never looked. What about you and Gray? We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. What? A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. How did you survive? Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> God, I love that joke. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here and here I've been since. Quite a great story. Thanks. Well... Thanks for letting me tell it. Okay, now we gotta find out about Death Claws. Oh, hey, it's you again. Hi. Anything I can do for you? I need info on the Death Claw, and I hear you're the man. Ooh, that thing. Friend, that is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? Because I'm gonna kill it. Okay, well... It's like a damn big man is what it is. Got spikes and claws that can cut through the heaviest armor. But don't let the size fool you. It's quick. Any weaknesses? Well, from what I've heard, maybe whack it in the head. I'd try the eyes. Of course, there's a problem there. What kind of problem? I can't look at him. It is said the Death Claw can hypnotize just by looking. Then it walks up and boom, you're it. Great, thanks. Good luck to you. You're gonna need it. 
Could be. Okay. And now will Slappy tell us... Da da da! Slappy tell us how to get to him? Ooh, pretty pretty stuff. Why is the moon? Uh, talked with Harold. The death claw sounds pretty nasty. What can you tell me about it? Death claw, death claw, da da, death claw. Uh. Come on, what do you know about the death claw? Death claw, scary, really scary. Looks neat though. Want to see it? You can take me to the death claw. Yeah, death claw, death claw. Going to see the death claw. Oh, don't say that me mean. Just shut up and take me there. Ooh, 800 experience points. Okay. We should have probably healed beforehand. That could be a mistake that bites us in the butt. Let's go ahead and throw in a... S oh, yeah, let's pull out our weapon. Let's also throw in a fresh save. Just in case things go south. Uh, doctor's number six on this list. Who needs the healing the most? Dog meat's missing 20 health. Ian's only missing six. I look severely wounded. I think I'm missing 11. Now nah, I'm missing 15. Okay. Probably priority is myself. Heal 10. So now I only need five more? Yeah. Next for the big heal will be dog meats, since he was missing 20. Okay, now he's missing 12. All right, dog meat. Between the failing to actually do any healing and his walking around and us not getting there. A little annoying, but we'll try. If we raise our doctor skill, I know we could do this better. Okay. He's getting close to actually making us leave. Wow, this is a lot of fails. We know he still needs it, right? Or does he? Come on, quit. Quit patrolling like that. There we go. Ten more hit points. I think Ian's next most wounded. Don't pull the dog meat. Oh my goodness. No one wants heals. Okay, we're too tired for healing. So next is first aid. Okay, then I'm the next most wounded. And then Ian again, with three hit points remaining. Two hit points. Kind of tied between them. Oh, we're too tired anyway. 119 days left. Okay. Maybe we should do the save now. After we did some healing. Maybe next time we get better results, but maybe next time we get worse results. Let's also turn sneak mode on.
Maybe we can get to the Death Claw before it sees us. Wherever it might be. Oh. I think we found eggs. You would think the Death Claw would be near the eggs. See eggshell, pieces of broken eggshell. Yeah, they all look like shells. Which would imply to me that there might be more than one death claw. However, maybe not in this area. Maybe they're out and about. Not much to loot in the cave. Is there really a death claw? It would have to be like right through here. There's like nowhere left. There it is. Oh, it, ooh. Is that one of the super mutants they were talking about? Well. Aim shot to the eyes. Death claws critically hit in the eyes for eight hit points. Slipping past the huge claws to strike the monster. The death claw shakes and growls. Uh, we crit it for eight. That's not a good sign. Right back to the eyes. And we missed. Felt like kind of moving away from it was a better call there. With our extra action points. Critically hitting the eyes for 24. That's better. Slipping past the huge claws. Strike the monster. Death claw shakes and growls. Uh, death claw critically hit for 12 and hit for 7. Okay, we're getting to that point where he's a little close. Also. Ooh. He still has 174 hit points. Let's aim for the eyes. Point blank. 60 points. Okay, that's a big chunk. Let's move a little bit further away. Also, why is dog meat going so slow? Is he also sneaking? Okay, we're hit for two and three. That's actually not too bad. The eyes. 15, serious wound. Okay, we were crit twice. That's a little bit worse. Another 60 hit points. He should be nearly dead. Yeah, he has three left. We'll stand our ground because we get a little bit more armor. But these two should finish him off. There we go. Three hit points and killed. Let's do a reload. Uh, Death Claw is hit for three hit points and was killed. For crushing your enemies, you're in a thousand experience. Nice. Do you have anything? Nah. No, like, trophy being like, hey, you killed the Death Claw. Have a head and show it to everybody. Everybody. 
Let's see what's going on with this. this brothers, where? The super mutant. At least I'm assuming that's what that is. Looks pretty super to me. Yeah, you see a dying mutant. Uh, he has 50 out of 50 hit points. It was so fast. My brothers were gone. Could not help. Who are you? I, I'm, I can't remember. Was the leader of it? Maybe my hollow disc? The mutant weekly hands you a bloody hollow disc. Where did you come from? We, we are scouting for primes. Come from, from the northwest. Who sent you? Father, where are you, father? Yes, master. The mutant breathes his last breath and collapses. And now he looks dead. Are we able to loot him? A radio. What's the radio for? Also, you see a disc with some strange marking on it. Gain 100 experience points. Uh, and it downloaded, downloaded some data. So let's read that. Let's also check out the radio. There's only static on the radio. Okay. Yeah, that stuff was under a weird spot, like status. Vault location, no, mutant transmissions. Message sent. Base, this is a scavenger team too, come in. Over. Message received. We're reading you loud and clear. Go ahead, over. Message sent. We've collected four males, two females, and their supplies from the caravan. They're not too badly contaminated. Tell the lieutenant that we're sending them ahead. They might be able to survive the process. We're going to wait here for a few more days. Message received. Roger that. Were any casualties accrued during the acquisition? Over. Message sent. Negative. Another clean sweep. Base also tells Scavenger Team 1 that we've run across the same problem they had. One of our scouts did not return from his perimeter patrol. A few of our other scouts reported there was something big and fast seen near our camp last night. I'll be checking it out personally at 0600 hours tomorrow morning. Over. Message received. Copy. We'll be awaiting your report. If possible, try to capture it. The master would be very pleased. Over. So, th these guys, I think, are actually responsible for uh, the caravans. And they just happen to run across the Death Claw. So if anything, the Death Claw is actually helping these people. Super mutants are abducting people. That's what I gather. Well, let's head back to... Would it be Old Town? Oh yeah, it's like night, night time now. Was that enough time and traveling that we could try to heal ourselves? Ooh. Also, let's put our gun away. I just realized I was standing in front of a bunch of guards. Is that enough time that I could... Nope, we're still too tired. Okay. So we'll need proper healing prior to going to the police about Deckard and Kane. Give me the sugar, baby. Oh. Why is the wind? Why, 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 why? Boogie, 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 boogie. Why is the wind? Why, 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 why? Hi, Harold. Oh, hey, it's you again. Hi. Anything I can do for you? Nothing, thanks. Oh. Okay, I thought maybe they'd have some follow-up for me, you know, taking out the death claw and everything. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Ow! Ow, again, what? Not even the carrion eaters are interested in your radiated corpse. What was that? 